Welcome all. Uh, this is the second lecture on uh, gate questions uh, for 2023 on fluid mechanics. So straight away let us start. This is the first question. This is the first question. Please read the question. Consider steady two-dimensional incompressible flow over a non-porous. I request you to focus on this word. I request you to focus on this word non-porous. One minute please. Yes. Please focus on this word non-porous, non-porous. Okay. Non-porous flat plate shown in the figure. For the control volume P, uh, P, Q, R, S, the speed U infinity at section PQ, the free stream velocity, this is the flat plate, it is non-porous. Means whatever the mass is entering, it cannot leave through this because it is non-porous. Had it been porous, some mass would have left through this. I solved one question in our regular class. So with porous. But here it is given as non-porous. Wonderful. And, and the fluid is entering at a velocity u. u infinity is the free stream velocity. And at some distance, the velocity profile is given. This is the velocity profile. And the profile is given as u is equal to a naught y by h power n where h is this boundary layer thickness they call this h is this distance this is the boundary layer thickness okay no problem and a naught y by h power n where n is a positive integer the value of a naught he is asking the value of a naught for which the flow through section p s will vanish listen carefully the fluid is entering so there is no effect of this boundary. So once the boundary layer grows, 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 once the boundary layer grows, and definitely in the boundary layer, due to reduction in velocity, there is a reduction in mass flow rate in this. So therefore, the rest of the fluid will flow through this section PQ. So if I take the control volume PQRS, clearly he said, what should be the value of A0 for which the flow through PS will vanish. He says, for what value the flow should vanish? The concept is very simple. What is that? It means, actually, for example, I'll give you a simple example. Due to the bond layer growth, the mass flow rate will reduce. So if 10 is entering, if 80 is leaving through this, remaining 2 will leave through this. Therefore, everywhere there is a mass conservation. Let me repeat. If 10 is entering, and 80 is leaving. Why 80 is leaving? Because due to bond layer growth, the mass there is a mass reduction. If 10 is entering, if through this section, if 80 is leaving, remaining 2 should leave through this because it is non-porous. But clearly he said, what should be the value of A0 so that the flow through PS vanishes? What does it mean? It means the flow through this should vanish. Means whatever is entering, everything should leave through this. If 10 is entering, 10 should leave. For that 10 to leave, whatever is entering, same should leave through this. If that to happen, he is asking, there should not be any flow rate through PS. It should vanish. So what is the value of A0, he is asking. Very simple, sir. At this section, you find out mass flow rate. At this section, you find out mass flow rate. Equate both mass flow rate to whatever is entering that is leaving. So therefore, through this, it will be zero. Because it is non-porous, nothing is leaving through this. So whatever is entering, it is leaving. So he's asking, there should not be any mass flow rate. It should vanish through PS. Wonderful. Now, let me take the velocity profile. The velocity profile is given by, dear students, A0 Y by H. U is equal to A0 Y by H whole power N. Let me check. A0 Y by H whole power, A0 Y by H whole power N. Wonderful. Now, please understand carefully. This is a section p q and this is your say r and s wonderful and this height is given as h and this is non-porous the fluid enters with a velocity u infinity no problem at all let me check it is entering with u infinity exactly okay no problem at all now this height let us take width perpendicular to the plane of the screen as one with perpendicular plane of the screen as one and through this area through this area the fluid is entering and before the 
look at my dear students at the entrance there is no effect of this plate or boundary so therefore everywhere at the entry the velocity is u infinity wonderful and this height is given as h so this is our p and this is our q so let me calculate what is the mass flow rate through pq and you know at any section the mass flow rate is given by rho av so rho is the density area this area the fluid is entering the height is h and the width is 1 area is h into 1 into rho a v area is h into 1 and the velocity everywhere at the entrance it is u infinity wonderful my dear students so therefore the mass flow rate through pq is given by rho u infinity h rho u infinity h this is the one and please look at carefully you definitely due to bond layer growth the mass is less so remaining mass will leave through this but he clearly said what should be the value you find out such a value of a naught so that through this the mass flow rate is vanishing and how is it possible so because it is porous so whatever is entering it should leave then only entry exit should be same therefore if that is same then through this the mass will vanish so let us try to find out what is the, what is the mass flow rate through this there is a problem sir the problem is here everywhere along the complete depth the velocity was u infinity but the velocity is varying at any distance let us say y the velocity is u and this u is varying with y so what i do is observe clearly i will take a small length h y at that the velocity is u and this u is varying with y so let me take small thickness of dy in this u is a function of y u is varying with y if variation of y is very very small my velocity will be almost same so with this velocity let us calculate mass flow rate in the small thickness and if i want the total mass flow rate i have to integrate from 0 to capital h sorry 0 to h so let me calculate let this length be dy and perpendicular to the plane of the screen width is 1 and in this small thickness of dy let the velocity be u everywhere let the velocity be u so let me calculate mass flow rate because in a small u is a function of y if y is varying in a small manner the variation of u is also very small so in that small thickness i can assume the velocity to be same so with that velocity i'll calculate the mass flow rate in the small thickness and if i want the total mass flow rate i'll integrate from 0 to h so let me do that rho area what is the area this height is dy and the width is 1 rho a v what is v it is u in this thickness it is u and this v is giving me mass flow rate only through small thickness dy and if you want the total mass flow rate through this section what is that section rs so mass flow rate through rs will be equal to integrate this from 0 to h 0 to h and let me do that integration so mass flow rate through rs is given by integral rho u already u is given as a naught y by h power n so rho uh, u rho u is uh, given as a naught y by h dy into 1 is dy absolutely fine so mass flow rate through rs is given by it is incompressible so density is constant a naught is a constant and you know uh, uh, look at h power n by h power n so now this is integral 0 to h i repeat 0 to h y power n dy absolutely fine so mass flow rate through rs will be equal to rho a naught by h power n into what is y power n it will be y power n plus 1 by n plus 1 and let me integrate from 0 to h so therefore mass flow rate through rs will be given by rho a naught by h power n into uh, uh, upper limit is h power n plus 1 lower limit is 0 by n plus 1 wonderful my dear students so therefore the mass flow rate through rs is given by rho a naught look at carefully a power m plus n is a power m a power n so h power n h power n gets cancelled only h will be available here only h by n plus 1 let me repeat rho a naught rho a naught a power m plus n you take it so therefore it will be this and he says there is no mass flow rate it should vanish 
So therefore, if the flow rate through this is to vanish, so whatever is entering through this, it should leave through this. So mass flow rate through PQ should be equal to mass flow rate through RS. Then only there will not be any mass flow rate through this. Already we know this mass flow rate. Equate these two mass flow rates. So rho u infinity h is equal to rho a naught h by n plus 1. Wonderful. Now this h, this h is gone. Uh, rho rho is gone. So he is asking a naught. So what is the value of a naught? If you want a naught, it will be u naught. You bring this to this side. So it is u infinity into n plus 1. Let me repeat. A, uh, where is that? a naught is equal to u infinity into n plus 1. Let me check whether that option is there or not. u infinity into n plus 1. This is a good question, sir. This is a good question. So hope this is clear. Wonderful. Now let's go to the next question. Let's go to the next question. Please read this question. This is also a good question. Consider the velocity distribution u y. u is varying with phi. But see the direction of velocity. Purely it is in the x direction. See the direction of velocity. See the arrow. Purely it is in the x direction. Purely it is in the x direction. Purely it is in the x direction. As shown in the figure. Between two adjacent layers, there is layer L1 and there is layer L2. There is layer L1 and L2. The viscous forces exerted by L1 on L2 is, let me repeat, the viscous force exerted by L1 on L2, very simple, sir. If you are moving in downward direction, what is happening to the velocity? It is increasing. And please note down that the flow is purely in the x direction. So the viscous force will be exerted in the x direction. So the flow is in the x direction. If it is in the x direction, the viscous forces will be in the x direction only. The force, viscous force exerted by L1 on L2, it cannot be vertically upwards. It cannot be vertically downwards because the flow is in the x direction. So the force is in the x direction only. Now we have to establish whether it is in the right direction or left direction. Observe clearly. Let this be the top layer. Let me designate with L1. And let this be the bottom layer. Let me designate this with L2. Now observe. What is the velocity of L2? It is more. So velocity of L2, let me write it as U2. Just for understanding. It is more than velocity of L1, which is U1. So please understand carefully. Because when you are moving in the down direction, see the velocity. It is increasing. Here, here it is less. Here it is more. Here it is more. Here it is more. It is much more. So which one has more velocity? L2 has more velocity. So as the velocity of the bottom layer is more, it will try to accelerate. So if you see clearly, dear students, agar ye L1 hai, agar ye L2 hai. So this is L1 and this is L2. Agar ye L1 hai, look at carefully. What is the velocity of L1? It is actually less. So it is retard. It is compared to this, it is retarding. So definitely this will try to retard this. So therefore, L1 will exit to the left. To the left and similarly please listen carefully what is the velocity of l2 l2 is more so it will try to accelerate the flow direction it will try to accelerate so on this it is like this let me repeat sirs let me repeat what is the velocity of l1 it is less as it is less compared to l2 it will try to retard the adjacent layer let me repeat so as the velocity of L1 is lower, okay, how do you know it is lower? See the profile. Jab aap niche ja rahe, to velocity is increasing. As you are moving down, the velocity is increasing. But see the direction of velocity. It's not in this direction. It is in the rightward direction. Rightward direction. So viscous force will be velocity gradient. It is in this direction. So please understand carefully. Please observe carefully. Please understand carefully. So therefore, now what is the velocity of the uh, see the direction of velocity purely it is in the x direction purely it is in the x direction and the gradients are in this direction the velocity is in this direction is it clear my dear students now they quick bar so what in what direction it is uh, exiting as the flow is rightwards jab ye right ja raha hai please dekho jab ye right ja raha hai so see the direction of velocity rightward so it is rightward rightward so therefore this layer has a lower velocity compared to this layer. So it will try to retard. As the velocity of the C, it is increasing. With depth, it is increasing. Means bottom layer has lower velocity, higher velocity compared to upper one. So as the bottom one has more velocity, the bottom one will exert accelerating force on their, uh, because it is going in the right direction. So bottom one has more velocity, it will exert accelerating force. But you know, my dear students, the top one has lower velocity. The top one has lower velocity. Therefore, it will try to exert a retarding force. It will try to exert retarding force on the 
on the bottom layer, bottom layer. But what is he asking? The force exerted by L1 on L2, L1 on L2, L1 on L2, L1 on L2. See carefully. Uh, L1 is exerting a retarding force. Therefore, it is leftward. It is to the left. Is it clear? Is it clear? Are you so the top layer has lower velocity. It is retarding compared to the bottom layer. So it will exert retarding. As the flow is in this direction, the retardation, the uh, opposing force is in that direction. So uh, the force exerted by L2 on L1, L2 on L1, L2 on L1 will be right. L1 on L2 will be to the left. He is asking L1 on L2. L1 on L2 will be to the left. So therefore, B is the right answer. Now, let's move to some more questions okay thank you and i'll be coming up with many more questions many more questions soon in this lecture series thank you